My name is Neil Casey, and I am currently serving as director of the Cape Girardeau Municipal Band. This is my fifth season as director, and I think I've counted it's my 40th year as a member of the band. We are a civic band, arts organization, supported by the city since 1927. There was a band tax passed by the state legislature where local municipalities could vote to form a band and support it. Cape Girardeau did theirs in 1927, and we've been supported ever since then. I'm an administrator. I select the music. I organize the schedule. I manage the payroll. That's the administrative part to make sure people are here and the attendance is taken. I think uh, the most important thing is getting the personnel recruited to the band, make sure we have the right instrumentation. If we have to recruit people and find them, we put out the word, get them involved, give them a place to express themselves musically, and hopefully give them an experience that they can enjoy and want to be a part of. Our home since 1957 has been at uh, Kappa Hall Park at the Band Shell, which was built by the members of the band raising funds in the community. Uh, originally, they were on the gazebo at the Common Pleas Courthouse, which is now the City Hall above the downtown area. And I, I think they outgrew that, uh, didn't have enough space to rehearse. And as the city was moving westward, the Kappa Hall was near the edge of the park, and they built that in 1957. Well, since that time, the uh, city and the Parks and Recreation Department is renovating that as the Dan Kotner Amphitheater in Banshell. Dan Kotner is a great uh, part of our story. He was uh, the longest serving band member. Uh, he served from, I believe, 1940 until he retired from the band in 2018. And in honor of his uh, service and importance to the city and the band, they uh, are honoring him with that in that shell. That's under renovation now. And because of that renovation and the combination of the COVID and the coronavirus, We've moved to Central High School in the Kinder Hall. We were looking for a home during the renovations and, and this site was offered to us. It's been a great place. It's a wonderful performance hall. And we enjoy being here and I, th I think our audience has appreciated that as well. And they're still completing the renovations uh, at Kappa Hall Park for this season. And we'll see what happens in 2023. Come see us at Kinder Hall for the final concert of the 2022 season. Final concert will be July 27th, Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. in lovely air-conditioned, bug-free Richard Kinder Hall at Cape Central High School. Every summer, as long as weather permits and uh, public health permits, we'll be here uh, from June after Memorial Day until July, and that's usually when our music educators have to go back to work with their busy summer band schedule. That's kind of what helps us conclude our season. But uh, I think we have at least 40 people with music degrees in college. That is a wonderfully talented group. I'm just thrilled when I get on the podium. It's more talented than any other band that I've ever worked with. And it's, uh, I have the best seat in the, in the audience. Better than the audience, I have the best seat anywhere to be on the podium. It's a lot of fun for me.